men, women, are you looking at porn? Hey y'all, I'm David, and if you haven't already done so, don't forget to smash that subscribe button right over here. This is the third video in a series regarding where I'm talking about things that I think couples should implement into their relationships that will protect it. So this one is a biggie. Pornography, the elephant in the room, right? Pornography is a huge issue today. Many people think it's harmless and does no harm, and there's nothing further from the truth, I'm telling you. In the past, this was primarily an issue that a man struggled with, but in the last several years, sad to say, about 65% of women are viewing porn one to two times a week. At least that's what the statistics say. Well, this is not about stats. This is about the danger that pornography will cause in your relationship and your marriage. First, let me start from what the Bible says about this issue, okay? Now, the word pornography, per se, is not in the Bible. But the Bible does make it very clear about the dangers that going down this road can cause. And what I'm going to do is I want to start by giving you what God had to say about it. So 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 13. Food for the stomach and the stomach for food, and God will destroy them both. The body, however, is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord and the Lord the body. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 11, Dear friends, I urge you as foreigners and exiles to abstain from sinful desires which wage war against your soul. Colossians 3 5, Put to death therefore whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. And the last one I'll talk about is John chapter 2 verse 16, For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, The lust of the eyes and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. There's a lot more scripture that talks about this subject because God knows. I mean, he knows the danger of it for his people. So why would we think it's okay for us to look at this garbage? Okay. I haven't even talked about the fact that viewing pornography has the same effect on your brain than heroin does, if not even a little bit more. And all of us know how addictive heroin can be, right? So let's get into this. Here's the danger many don't even recognize when it comes to pornography. Now I gotta come from a marriage perspective because according to the Bible, we are not supposed to be having sex outside of marriage anyway, right? When you look at pornographic videos or images, you're drawn away from the person that you're with, okay? These videos that are staged with people that are performing, I mean, they're literally performing. It's not real. You may not even know this, but many of these people that are in these videos have never even met before they're supposed to have sex, okay, until like right before they start recording. How crazy is that? Right? The videos, what they do is they stimulate you in a way that only your spouse is supposed to stimulate you. And what happens is a lot of us, we start comparing these airbrushed images and things we see in the videos with our spouse. Our spouse can't live up to that stuff, to the crap that you're looking at. So how is this fair to your relationship? So let's roll into talking about masturbation. See, people don't like to talk about this subject because it's very personal, but people will never get free if it continues to be considered taboo. Again, if you're masturbating while you're watching one of these videos, many of you are gonna disagree with me. I already know this, but you're committing adultery. And I know some of you are saying, how the heck does he say I'm committing adultery? I don't agree with that. Well, here, let me show you. What did Christ say in his word? Christ said, if you even look at a woman to lust after her, you've already committed adultery in your heart with that person. Okay. Now, how many of you have ever wondered why God used men in this Bible reference and not women? This was because back in that day, men were predominantly the ones struggling with lust. God created men with a strong desire to be with their women. Again, he wanted men and women to to procreate. So he put this desire, a very strong desire, in them for their wives. Sadly, the world today is so jacked up and so messed up. God is just talking about looking with lust. Okay, we take it to the next level. We masturbate to get a sexual release from somebody other than our spouse. It's just as dangerous as physically doing the act. It's pulling your heart away from your spouse every time you do this. Sadly, many are deceived 
and will refuse to believe that pornography is extremely harmful to not only themselves, but to their relationships. So if you're allowing this stuff in your relationship, I'm telling you, it will end badly. That's what porn does. It's just like a drug. Let me give you an example. You guys know I love my examples. Let's say you just start out smoking a little bit of weed and it morphs into you trying other drugs. And the reason being is because you can't find that same high that you did the first time. Now let's take pornography. How many of you have watched the news only to see this? A man was arrested today for sharing child pornography or coming up at 11, high school teacher accused of having sex with a student. Okay, you've all seen these <laughs> news stories. I know my newsman is really good, isn't it? But no, seriously, things like prostitution stings and nabbing all these guys. You ever wonder why you see this stuff? I honestly believe it stems from pornography. You start out looking at pornography, okay, and videos of men and women. Generally, that's where it starts. Next thing, it's men with men and women with women and then all kinds of garbage that's out there, okay, that you're wanting to watch because you can't achieve that same high that you did the first time. And another bad thing about it is I believe it actually leads to people going outside of their home and acting out on it in regards to what I said before, like pedophilia and having sex with students and even prostitution. This is what you could be headed for if you don't put up a boundary, okay, around not allowing this stuff into your home. So in conclusion, pornography is a subject that I will be getting into a little bit deeper, a little more in the future because it's a marriage killer. It's a family killer. And I really want to go deeper, like I just said. There is no good in it other than a moment of pleasure for a lifetime of pain especially if your husband or your wife decides to walk away because of it. So if you haven't already done so, like this video, comment on this video, and most importantly, share this video because I know that I know that I know there's somebody out there that needs to hear this, okay? If you didn't catch the other videos in this series, the link should be in the description section or right over here on the screen. Until next time, I'll see ya.